DX7SC here, we're going to do a backlight mod. I haven't got the backlight yet, but I'm going to suss out what's in here, and we'll get into it. Right, make sure, so flip her over, pop the back, carefully lift up your battery, and remove it. Just make sure that you've got your red to the right and your black to the left. Okay, click that out. Remove your six screws. Is two, four, six. Right, get your screws. Just put them aside so they don't fall on the floor. Right, so what we're going to do is, this has got a battery cable lead here that's going to fall out of the way, so we'll just carefully lie it back like so. And lift it carefully, roll it to the side, and down. Okay, now I'm looking for, I want to look for the power supply for this board, okay. Um, actually I've Got a loose plug here, so which I need to plug back in. Looks like. I haven't had this running for a while, so now yeah, that's sorted. Okay, so the power board is underneath the back here. So it's on the bottom board. So what we've got to do is carefully take the transmitter, the receiver, um, TX board on, uh, for the modulator and we'll remove those four screws carefully and you want to be careful because these here are soldered onto the board and some of these are actually just plugged into the board so you've got to be really careful not to strain those wires alright so we'll just take that off never been apart because I can feel it. The screws are quite tight. Right so what I've got to do here is this little um, receiver wire for the actual receiver itself just here the uh, wireless actual aerial wire is just here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick that off because I've got to take this board aside okay. So we want to carefully, because that will come off, carefully flick that off, like so. Okay, we'll make, sh make sure we've got to put that back on again, and we'll carefully roll this board over. Alright, now just be very careful of that wire, because it's a, co it's a little miniature coaxial wire, which means it's got an inside and an outside set of wiring on it. Alright, so let's just have another bit more of a detailed look of what's in what's in here and where where it's all going to okay all right what I'll do looks like we've got one big screw holding this whole lot together and you've got to be careful because all the wiring's routing around the outside of the board so when you put it back together and we've got our main um, it's a um, quick burn fuse, so if you have a major uh, reversal or something like that and it doesn't work, that's the first thing you will be checking for. So it's the same as an automotive kind of application. That is tight. That is really tight. So I'm going to see if I can hunt down a screwdriver of decent calibre so I can actually get that apart. I'll see if I can do it. That is tight, super tight, because that's actually holding the um, all right. I'll be back in a second. I'll grab it. Okay, I've pulled the board apart. We've been working on this board here. 
um, and I've done a little bit of um, checking and testing and this is what I found out okay this one here we've got 11.5 volts the yellow wire we've got 5 volts and that's an earth we've got a 3.3 volt voltage regulator over here with 11 volts in there and 3.3 volts out down here which is where I'm going to put the uh, backlight and I'm going to run it off this plug here the you've got 5 volt 5 volt 5 volt and then earth so what I'm going to do I'm just going to use a standard I have actually got the correct plug for this but you can't really buy them that easily so I thought well hey might as well get something everybody's going to use okay so basically what we're going to use is a three wire servo plug and we're just going to use two wires um, so we're going to use the we're going to use this wire here on the right hand side which is earth and then we're going to use that first five volt feed there um, so yeah that will make it nice and tidy you'll have your backlight underneath and the wiring I'm going to get the wiring to come up through here and into there so it's going to sit there come down and, and, and it's going to be quite tidy um, the only issue is is the this this servo plug here is quite tall and it will sit a lot higher than the other plugs which doesn't quite look as tidy as the real job um, if I can get it to go in there which I'll hang on a sec being left-handed I need to use my left hand so we just slot that in there and just slots in there see that sits quite a lot higher I was just going to run it down there and down under the board and this is the actual cable I'm going to use but I have got the real one that looks exactly like these plugs here but I'm not going to bother using them I actually got them out of a TV but no problem um, yeah so that's pretty much it you can see there's quite a few voltage regulators here there's this one here there's this one here there's this one here this one here this one here this one here and this one here there's actually quite a few quite a few um, so yeah I think with 5 volts we'll be right for a backlight um, it'll be stable because it has it is um, regulated through this board so once, you, once it comes up out of the board it's already stable 5 volts so thanks for tuning in and we will wait till the, we get our Hobby King backlight and we'll run through the setup on that um, I don't know if this has been done on a DX7 I can't seem to find anything on the net about it so uh, I'm doing the research to nut it out so hopefully that will make it easier for someone else to do okay um, and as you can see um, this is the, this is the ribbon for the backlight and I've got the lock out, locking tab out to be able to remove the ribbon when you lift the board up um, and that actually pushes forward to lock in when you want to lock it in place like so so I hope that helps you uh, get a bit of an understanding here we've got um, a couple of other things we've got we've got here's the main voltage coming out of the battery here I've still got it plugged in so I won't short anything out because um, I've been testing so we've got the grey one is earth the orange one is live which is 11.5 volts it supplies the voltage up through the grey and orange twisted loom and it comes up into that plug there I don't know if you can see that but there's a plug there so you've got the 11.5 um, volts coming in here with an earth here um, I haven't actually tested these two because I don't need to bother but yeah so that's earth the grey one um, and the 5 volts there so once you turn the switch on it goes through the circuit board um, and then we've got a voltage regulator here which regulates it to 5 volts and that sends the 5 volts down through to this board this board and this board feeds the rest so this is like a motherboard of a PC here this is your switching circuit um, with a fuse built in it's got a diode in here also 
um, I believe I saw on here. Yes, it's got a diode here, so that'll stop any backfeeds across the fuse into the perfect protect the circuit that way. Um, yeah, so it's not a bad setup really. Not that I know a lot about electronics, but it's not too bad. They've got, at least they've got some sort of protection. That's a 250 volt 3 amp um, fast flash fuse, which is what they use a lot in automotive industry. Um, so yeah. Yeah, it's um, it's quite quite a good little setup. So once I get my uh, backlight kit, I'll get into it and we'll get it all sorted. But that's the tidiest way I can see for actually wiring this backlight system. Um, so it'll come up through here, and I'll probably have the the because there's plenty of room in here. As long as you plenty of room in here, as long as you make sure that this you know it doesn't come anywhere in this this battery tray. So we can hide it down in here, which when you flip it over, is down in that region anyway, and there's plenty of room under there. Plenty of room. Because like this is level with the case here. Um, so we've got all that room down there, plus we've got a lot of room back up this way, because it actually dips in quite a lot. So in here is pretty much where we're going to be having all the, all the gear sitting up here, because we don't want it binding up with this... Um, we don't want to binding up with this gimbal setup. Okay. Oh, well, I just thought you might like to know that. <laughs>